Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. So here I'm very excited to share with you guys. This is our new block TDD with the clean architecture course. Now we are almost done with this project and we are at the last phase of doing the coding and restructuring. And after that we'll be doing our course. Now if some of you wants to have uh, this access to this code ahead of time, you can definitely get it from the link below. All right, so we're going to make the course and now I'm going to introduce it that how it works. So of course so, uh, there are three uh, Simulators over here and why three simulators? That's because we are going to do a group chat very soon Well, one of the simulator that I have already logged in. So this is the other one now over here I would like to log in but I need to create a new account first So this is where actually I'm going to go ahead and create a new account over here. Now I'm going to give it my name and email address could be over here dylan at dbestech and now for now i'm going to use password it could be any kind of password that you want and then i'm going to confirm password now the whole thing has been done using block tdd and clean architecture and most probably i need to over here it says that okay the email address is already used by another account All right, so it might ask me to do an email verification and we are waiting for it. So here we are and this is here we are at the front end. Now, of course, this emulator is very different. If you do come over here, you will see that, of course, we have front end and user section. And here we also have user section. Now over here, the UI is a little bit different because this app also has admin panel. If you sign up as an admin, which I already did, so we have extra features like add video, add exam, add materials, and add course. Now over here, I'm going to come over here and uh, log in as another new user. But of course, before that, I'm going to go ahead and do registration. So let me go ahead and sign up. Now, of course, for signing up over here and logging in, we are actually used uh, Firebase. And the whole backend has been done with Firebase because most looks like it's the most popular one out there. So over here, we do see that, okay, we have three different users. They got three different name. And of course, these two users, they have the same role. And there's an admin panel as well as also a user. So same app actually works with uh, different modules. So now over here from the source code over here on the side, you can see that uh, we have this uh, admin panel section now before I dig dive into this uh, app features of course I would like to show you from here that okay actually we are using clean architecture so we have over here like auth sections we have data sections we have domain sections or domain layer and presentation layer now inside this if you do know what is called presentation layer domain layer data layer you would be very familiar with this and if not it's okay you can take our course later which we are going to release very soon in 10 to 15 days and inside this you see that inside domain layer we have entities repos and use cases which normally a clean architecture should have and pretty much same over here but of course presentation layer is different than domain layer so the folders the structure could be different and it goes same over here anyway so in our uh, app we're going to definitely explain them step by step now back to our app features anyway so over here uh, you see that when you come over here on the home page you like to see there are notifications so you can get notifications it would be visible when we add a new course actually then we get notification which means the users now if you come over here you can also delete a notification if you want it cleans up itself if you come over here actually you can mute all notifications or clear all notifications. so i'm going to clear all the notifications okay now let's see so I'm over here and I'm going to add a new video 
Now for video itself, actually we can pick a course. Now say for example, I'm picking React Native and I'm going to insert a video URL over here. Now for video URL React Native, I'm going to check one of the videos from my channel. Now I'm going to put the video over here. So what it would do, it would actually grab the URL from here and uh, looks like I have pasted it twice, which we don't need. Okay, right. And then we'll fetch the video. Now, of course, this app, you could also fetch video from your local storage, okay? Now we fetched it and then we can submit it. All right, so now as you see, as I have submitted the user, the other user get the notification immediately. Of course, notification also has sound, but because we are on emulator, the sound is off because I have to set it on Android emulator. Anyway, so as a user, other users would get it immediately. And you'd also see that for this user, we also have a notification. Now you can go ahead and click on this. And it says that over here we do have a video that's React Native, but I think the time also has a little bit problem, which we need to actually uh, work on this, the time format itself. But apart from that, everything else is good. Now here we do see that we have two videos because previously I have added two videos. Uh, previously I have added a video and just now we added this video. Now you can go ahead and play it. So it'll take you to YouTube directly to play this, okay? Of course, you need to allow this. So as you can see, it's already started to play. But now this is what we are playing on YouTube, okay? All right, it opened up YouTube for us. Now let's come over here, click on this. We'd like to go back to our app. So this is our app. So we could do the same over here. Now, as you can see that uh, the best tech has uploaded a few videos. Now, of course, we could also add exams from here. You can pick a course. You can pick any of this course from here. And then you can just simply go ahead and add an exam. Like, for example, I could say, well, I'm going to have um, Flutter. Like, select an exam. Okay. Now, exam itself should be JSON file format. Now, I'm not going to do it. But actually, we have tested that you can definitely go ahead and uh, select and uh, it would upload automatically. So I'm going to go back because now if you come over here on our uh, home page, actually. So this is our home page. And let's come over here. We do have different buttons. Now over here, we also have exams. Now we might have exams for Flutter and let's go ahead and check. Now, previously, we actually have uploaded a uh, few exams, but now, of course, the title is different because we are still doing tests. It's not really Flutter exams, but we just uploaded randomly some uh, files from our uh, JSON folder or from JSON. Now, of course, you can go ahead and work on the exam, start exam, and here you will have a basic understanding, All right? So here we actually started the exam and... Uh, uh, you well you can choose and go to the next one like this and here we also see we have a timer so it goes on so a lot of features actually the app has covered so I will say okay yes exit now you can go back all right so this is where you can choose exams you can see whether you have passed exam or not well if you submit it you'll see that it's been passed or failed because it does the scoring as well so if you do the scoring over here you get to see that someone has do done this all right mm -hmm. anyway uh, so yeah a lot of things go goes on now one of the other thing that i would like to show you and which we actually wanted to cover in this course uh, which we are going to release very soon now here you'll see that as a user you get to join group okay so now you can uh, select few of the groups now these groups are created as an admin where admin actually upload courses like as you can see over here each time you upload a course over here from here like add a course actually from here when you add a course then a, a group is automatically created and users they are able to join the group for now users can join the group automatically but in future they, if they want to join you can also 
at a subscription model which we are also working on it right now now let's go ahead and click on this so over here you are in the group now let's see what do we have you know as an admin i would be over here and i can also join this group all right so we have groups over here joined group successfully and you can send messages hello there let's send message all right so we see that it it send message here automatically and uh, is it about the group no it's not about the group now i would see the groups and i would join this group actually you can join any groups for now and we do see that someone has already sent messages but once again we need to work on the time all right so ahmed has sent messages now because we are doing group chatting so let's go ahead and take a quick look how are you let's send it so well we see it over here in this device in this device in this device remember these are three different users that means that it's a group chatting wow a big group so everybody gets it and as you see over here we do have different names but of course uh, user profile the file could be changed if you want this is a default picture and in our user center actually we get to change our picture if you come over here you can edit profile and a lot of the stuff it's an amazing app that actually we worked uh, almost months few two months to work on them anyway we gonna be flutter ambassador all right okay everybody gets it they say yes the best tech is so cool all right anyway so yeah that's how it works i mean it has a lot of other exciting features uh, i wish i could cover everything and a lot of other features are actually coming so anyway if you want to get early access to the code definitely you can go ahead and buy it and once you buy the code you will have free access to the course as well because you are buying the code and you will have free access because we have your email if you buy it anyway thank you for supporting